What is up? It is your boy Thorns here, and today I have a lovely special guest by the name of Sean. It's -a me, Seanio. All right, so I've been wanting you to uh, hang out with me while I uh, I record. So finally, you get to come do that. Yeah, you know I've uh, been appreciating the episodes you've been putting out, and I've in been interested in the growth you've had with uh, getting better with making videos in general so i thought that was pretty cool and the fact that you wanted me to join i was like oh shit well why not man um okay i need to get all 101 punies right here on this little bit right here oh man can you see what is going on yeah little mini earthquake hell yeah Man, I didn't know it was that easy. I already got the second crystal star. Look at that. Damn, dude, you already got the Kokiri Emerald. I, I know. <laughs> so Time to I, go back to the Temple of Time, baby. I don't know if you were paying much attention, but I used to uh, call them the Crystal Meth Stars. <laughs> Wait, really? I don't think I did pay attention. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I thought it. I, I legit oh. did. I It was like the first couple episodes. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know the, the Crystal Meth Stars, you know. I don't think I ever caught that. Wow, I'm dumb. <laughs> no, you're you're good though. But um, uh, what was I gonna say? I completely forgot. Um, I I'm pretty sure that you've uh, noticed that I I have mentioned that the first time that I did play this is when you let me borrow it. Yeah, and I honestly had no idea one that that was like your first time actually playing it and then two that this was your favorite uh paper mario game because i was under the assumption that and although it was like i think number four on your list that uh super paper mario i thought that was always your favorite because that was the one i always wanted to play but you you had it for the wii and i always wanted it and i was like man that game looks like so much fun and you were always playing it and that was always so jealous um i mean it's not that uh Oh man, I forgot. I gotta sit here and fight these bosses and everything too. While uh, I... escaping. They're just x knots He'll he'll be fine. I know. It's just. Mm, speaking of x knots though, those are actually my favorite regular enemy in the game, and I want to say it's because they're red, but I think it's just because they're so dopey looking. You know that that doesn't surprise me actually. Oh, well, because they're just there, and they're just like, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! And then they're just so freaking weak. But, um... Yeah. Thousand Year Door is my favorite. I I think it's because the type of companions that I have is what uh, makes it better. Um, Even though you hadn't played Super Paper Mario, um, Super Paper Mario... The the companions that you get on your um, adventure, and also don't let this be like a thing that deters you from trying the game out because it's a really <laughs> good game. But um, the ah oh, man, hold on, I got come on you little puny fucks. I forgot if you keep uh, <laughs> running far away from them, you you end up losing some. But um. The companions that you get along that, uh, um, along the adventure, they're, they're pixels, and it's just, um, I, I don't know, it, it's hard to explain. Okay. But, um, I, I still think Super Paper Mario's a really good game. Um, Paper, the Paper Mario series in general. Uh, I enjoyed. The only one, <laughs> of course, is Sticker Star that I was just like... I know, you're like, Sticker Star is at the bottom. Of course, Sticker Star is at the bottom. Heck yeah, it was. Isn't that one also for the uh, 3DS? It is. Uh, it's the first Paper Mario game on the uh, uh, 3DS. And I know you talked about Paper Jam. I actually have Paper Jam because I uh, recently bought a 2DS on a whim. Um, and I bought, uh, Pokemon, Ultra Sun, and, uh, Paper Jam, and I don't know if you've played it, but you're, it's really more of the, 
Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga thing than it is. They just yeah, kind of threw I've, Paper I've Mario Paper in it. Jam. And I've only played it for like a, a straight half hour because I just keep defaulting back to Pokemon. But yeah, um, Paper Jam really isn't that bad of a game. Um, the reason why it's lower on the list is when it gets to um, where the toads and everything create the uh, cardboard. Um, I don't know if you gotten to this point, but you will create um, like cardboard statues that you guys will um, fight, basically. Oh. <laughs> um. So it's it's um. How how do I word it? It's definitely something that I I didn't like, but. Of course, I liked the entire Mario and Luigi um, series as well. Right. Superstar Sa Saga was uh, the best. Didn't they re-release that too with like Bowser's Minions or something like that? Yeah, Bowser's Inside Minions, I believe. Or something like that, yeah. But um, Partners in Time, I really didn't care for. Um, Bowser's Inside Minion was... Uh, uh, it's been a while since I played Bowser's Inside, or um, Bowser's Inside Story is the one that I'm thinking of. But um, it it wasn't a bad game. I enjoyed it, running around inside Bowser and stuff. <laughs> oh God, freaking Lord Crump. Yep. You know, he's actually um, really interesting because bef the reason I was, when you messaged me before we started this, asking if I was ready and I said more or less, is for like the past 15 to 20 minutes, I've been looking up interesting little facts and stuff about Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, and one of the things I found was actually about Lord Crump. So as it turns out, his theme music actually um has the theme of pac-man dying from the atari 2600 version of pac-man like just straight up in it huh yeah and i guess so like this game has really been famous for like referencing other games in and out of nintendo that one being one of them but then you know it also mentioned like the fire emblem title and it even did some fourth wall breaking because in pedalberg there's this little toad guy that's like oh, i'm really really playing a lot of GBA games lately and then like later on in the story he'll say that he's been playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door and then once you beat the game and you go talk to him again he talks about playing the new uh, Paper Mario Yeah, I'm just like that's so crazy I had no idea because I don't think I ever went back to Petalburg after what chapter one uh -huh. but um I would still highly recommend uh, playing Super Paper Mario if you, you if you haven't yet. I really haven't, but I'm hoping. Um, I don't know if it's on the um, the virtual console, not for actual virtual console, but like the thing they did on the Wii U where you could just straight up buy Wii games and yeah. put them directly onto the console itself. But I haven't actually looked for it. Um. I don't see why Super Paper Mario wouldn't have, uh... Because it's... The ones that they usually do, that's the Nintendo Select games, right? I personally don't know, but I just know that Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are on there. And I believe that, um... Super Paper Mario had a similar following in its popularity, so... I'm thinking it should be on there, but I honestly never even bothered to check because it's been so long, like, I haven't even thought about Super Paper Mario until you brought up the list of your favorites in the last episode. Yeah. Or what, maybe it was episode 5. Episode 5. Okay. Slowly but surely, we are beating uh, Lord Magnus Von Crump, yeah? Oh, um, but it ain't over yet, apparently. Yeah, I know. Oh god, my cat, why? Oh, he has his little thingies pop up here. Ah, oh, those things suck, man. 
I actually had a little bit of a hard time with this fight. Uh, because I would always skip through the enemies because I didn't like how they were always like I couldn't jump on any of the enemies in this area. Yeah. After time. Um, so I was really weak. <laughs> I don't know if you watched uh, episode six. Uh, I actually, I think it was episode six that I was talking about how I really didn't uh, that I normally don't fight the enemies in this area because I, that's how much I <laughs> hate this area so much. Oh yeah, I feel you. I feel you, because I would do the same thing, and then isn't... I think after this, isn't it, um, Glitzfill? I believe so, yes. Yeah, and I fought, like, everything I could there, although there wasn't a lot of, like, outside enemies to fight. I'm going for the excellent... God damn it, the second I... <laughs> I've gotten it perfect every single time. Uh, Until, sad now. Day. <laughs> Until now. Until now. It's all good though, he only has 11 health left. Yeah. What I always liked about this fight is that, like, how half of the crowd was punies and the other half were X knots. Like, I, I thought I, that was. I neat. just now noticed that. <laughs> but I was kind of sad that there wasn't like a ridiculous amount of punies in the audience. There's only, what, 25 if there's a 50 total and they're like half and half. I mean, you got a point. I gotta imagine if you had 101 punies and then like, say, kept it with the regular 25, right. uh, the 25 X-Knots, you'd get so much star power if you appealed. And so I like how when you first got a uh, flurry, you were just kind of squeezing her like five times trying to figure <laughs> out if it was her lower body or her boobs. It's like, come on, man. I was, I was sitting there. I was like, wait a second. Right. You were just trying to figure it out. But I was like, is he going to stop at any point? <laughs> just the rest of the episode to me squeezing her tits. <laughs> oh, God. Then you really would have had to name it Tits and Blow. <laughs> yeah, what the hell ever. Well, it was funny because you said that like exact thing, but you just kept saying after blow, like tits and blow air, <laughs> like tits and blow. Who who knows? Who knows? Uh, okay. Boom! Who got them stylish points? Yeah, well, everybody loves to see some squished up boobies. It's not a. <laughs> It's not a Mario game unless someone's got big tits. I mean, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> oh man. But um. But yeah, um, I've never owned a GameCube. Uh, it wasn't until I actually got the Wii and that I was able to borrow uh, Paper Mario from you to actually play this. You know. I'm sure I knew that at one point, but I totally freaking forgot. Mm. I should be able to just body slam Magnus. I would like to think so. Yep, and bye bye. Oh yeah. Oh man, seizure. Uh. And we got the power up. Oh yeah. All right. So um, last episode, I went straight with badge power, um, so that way I could just use FP plus, so that way I could uh, basically get like two upgrades in one. So I think this time I'm gonna do health. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it because some of the glitchville fights are a bit tough on your health. Man. So, I want to throw it out to any viewers that um, you need to tell this man to start making YouTube videos again. I don't even make good YouTube videos. Why? Are, why? Dude, I'm, I'm telling you. you I, I liked your content. You need to uh, come back. Make a comeback. Shadow Herald 2018. Exactly. Comeback is real. Um... Plus, we'd be able to uh, record some things, and I could uh, star on uh, your stuff. 
All right, we got the Emerald Kokiri Crystal Meth Star. The Emerald Kokiri Crystal Meth Star. <laughs> yes. It's got five points on it, so you can inject it into five different people's bloodstreams at the same time. Heck yeah. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second Crystal Meth Star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The Bodley Woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. So, if the x knots started a porno, would they be called the xxx knots I, I would assume so. <laughs> or they'd call themselves not x knots I don't they know. call them d knots G's nuts. nuts. <laughs> 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 That's oh, the name. That was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> That's the name oh, of their what? porno. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> D's nuts. That, that is what their porno would be named. Are you ready for D's nuts, baby? Oh my lord. Yep, because I'm about to bury these knots in your crump. <laughs> I was taking a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ah, oh, lord. Have mercy on my soul <clears throat> and my throat. It's, it's absolutely good. I'm pretty sure that's what they'd say in uh, these knots, too. Yeah, you know what? Alright. Sounds like time for more Paper Mario trivia. <laughs> so, the Shadow Sirens. I'm sure a lot of people have noticed, you probably noticed, but their hats that they wear uh, designate what kind of elemental attacks they use. So Vivian's hat is red, and she uses fire. Marilyn's is yellow, and she uses thunder. And Beldam's is blue, and she uses an ice-type elemental attack. Um... I haven't actually necessarily noticed that, but, um, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, and what's actually really cool um, about Vivian is her, that was not her finalized design, or, sorry, that is her finalized design. It actually looked a little bit different. So, originally, she wasn't as tall, like, her little squiggly shadow thing that attached to the ground wasn't nearly as long and her hat actually had a little flame at the end of it. So I'm assuming because of that they were probably going to do something similar for Marilyn and Beldam as well. Huh. Who, who would have known? I mean, and there's other actual cool facts like the fact that the one of the shop owners, the, the boo girl names Pika her original Japanese design actually made it look more like a Playboy bunny. But I guess they wanted to cut ties with that in the European and American release because of actual Playboy bunnies being there. So they changed it to cat ears. Hey, who knows? Press the buttons uh, as they appear on screen. Oh shit, self-cessed. Oh, damn it. Well, <laughs> Damn it. We're so beautiful. Me, myself, and I. I pressed it! What the hell? When you press it, but you don't press it? I know for a fact that I did. Well, apparently not. <laughs> I did. Alright. Hopefully that was good enough for the game. <laughs> ah, good old tech. Please use my communicator. The things you do to send emails to, uh, your hubby. Yeah, you know. Well, it's so, just, you know, it feels like Mario's not the hubby. He feels just like the side hoe or the, the, the equivalent of a side chick. So, wouldn't it be weird if um, P 
Peach really wasn't being kidnapped by Bowser. It was just what they were saying so that way Peach can go, uh, you know, do some uh, adultery with Bowser on Mario. I mean, they're technically not a thing, Peach and Mario, so she can just do whatever she wants. It... I don't know why they have to make it look like she got kidnapped. She just wants some lizard D. Uh, good old new grounds. <laughs> For those who do not know what that website is, please stay off of it. <laughs> yeah, that website ruins childhoods. Cough, um, cough, mine, cough, cough. Yes, yours, very fat. What the hell? Oh, gee, <laughs> tinier than a fucking Koopa. Oh, how nice. They give you a disability. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Did not make that. Oh, shit. There we fucking go. Ah. Well, you tried. Do it's I have okay. a run button? I don't think you have a run button. I just didn't want to take the risk of, uh... What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> now you'll never know what's on that block. I thought Goombas were supposed to be like under your control, so like, why is. Why is it that they hurt you? They should be friendly. I don't know. Ah! Nah. <laughs> Alright. I never said I was good with platformers. You right, you right. All right, here we are in good old uh, Koopa Village or Petalburg, That's what it is. Oh, that's another fun thing that I learned that I had. I didn't even think about it. Uh, Scott actually brought it up, and it was, made me look into it a little bit more. Um, is that in the Pokemon uh, Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby games, there is a city called Petalburg City, and in in Petalburg you get the. Uh, Sun and Moonstones, and those are also uh, items that are in the Pokemon games recurringly. So I thought that was pretty cool. And and that was also how I found out about the little Toad guy, because he also talks about playing Game Boy games. Yeah. Huh. Who, who would have known? Oh, Bowser God. just got duped. Homeboy's about to go in there and start yanking his Koopa chain. Mm-hmm. Hey, you... Sometimes you just gotta take care of yourself. So, if he thought that poster was Peach, but it wasn't, does that make it an imposter? Yes, I'm pretty sure that's why Nintendo did that. Ha! Oh, man. So... I always thought it was cool that you got to play as Peach and... Bowser in these games. I, I'm pretty sure you do that in uh, the. I know you play as Peach in the original Paper Mario because that's where you get to bake the cake and everything. And um, Bowser, I don't think you play as. But um, Super Paper Mario, you get to uh, play as Bowser and Peach and all them as well. Nice. See you, Mr. Mario. Oh, yeah. So now we get to go uh, back to the Thousand Year Door and learn of our, our next star location. Oh, yeah. Bing, bing. <laughs> oh, man. So, I don't know if you caught me uh, talking about it in previous episodes, but how is it that Peach knows that he automatically got, like, an email, what his email address is, and, uh, you know, actually email him? Well, I'm assuming it's because without Princess Peach, Mario is just a piss-poor plumber. And so she probably provided him with the email doohickey 
like the email address and stuff and was like oh well I have a way to reach him I guess I set him up with that sick email address um who knows but I did wonder that too, but that's the only that's the only thing I can think of is that she provided him with those things. I don't know. Alright. Let's go ahead and save because I would hate to lose the uh the progress that we have made. Yeah, that would that would suck. Start the episode over. Yeah, screw that. <laughs> Alright, so Sean was here to help us save the punies. I was just here to make puns and tell Mario facts. I really didn't do much. <laughs> you, you were still here in spirit, which is more than what Tim, Scott, and Mason could do, so... You right. That's right, you guys. Right. I'm calling you out on video. Now let I know Scott will watch them, because he's interested in uh, seeing how you progress as a YouTuber. But I personally doubt unless prompted to Mason or Tim will watch these videos. No, I, I highly doubt it either. But speaking of that, Scott, you need to go like the Thorns Games Facebook page. He would if he had Facebook on his phone still. Wait, why do you get rid of it? He just, he constantly gets rid of it. Sometimes he'll, he'll have it on for a hot second and he'll take it right back off. He uses messenger more than he uses actual facebook oh, well we need to go tell him just to like the page and then he can bail out <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> then he can delete facebook off his phone <laughs> that's the way to do it though as, as many likes as possible means the more uh exposure it has Actually, this next crystal star I don't think is in Glitzville. We sure about that? Cause Glitzville is the uh the swamp, right? No, Glitzville is the fighting arena. With Rockhawk. <laughs> Rockhawk. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> they they said it, not me. Well they made it, I did say it, but they made it. I didn't yeah. make the name. I don't know why I was thinking Glitzville was, um, the, the swamp. No, I think that's the one right after Glitzville, because it's like, um, for pigs, the bells toll or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. With Dupless and stuff, but no. The good thing is, now I can finally go to a shop and, uh, re-up on some items. Yeah, those are surprisingly important in this game. Heck, yeah. But, well, um, I can't say surprisingly. A lot of RPG games put a lot of emphasis on item usage. Yeah, um, since you have, you still have a Wii U, right? Yeah, I have a Wii U and a Wii and I no longer have a GameCube, but I'm hopefully going to change that again soon. Um, because I was going to say, uh... Or ask you, have you played Paper Mario, uh, Color Splash? No, I have not played Color Splash. I think you'd like it. Honestly, the only two that I've actually had a chance to play are regular Paper Mario and this one. And... Technically, I never beat both of them. I was there for the ending of everything I didn't see. For someone else playing Thousand Year Door, but I definitely didn't even finish the original Paper Mario. Yeah. I got I got stuck in a deserty area and I was real confused. And this was pretty early on in my life, so I wasn't sure how like RPGs or a lot of games worked other than like Zelda. Yeah. But um, I think I'm gonna finish uh, attempting to build my computer before I buy a. Uh, capture card and uh, create a lovely uh, Nintendo Switch Let's Play. Uh, whatever. 800 episode uh, Breath of the Wild Let's Play, yo. Yeah. <laughs> episode 
We're going to fight Bowser. Yeah, what the hell ever. Wow, did I really say Bowser? I meant to yes, say Yes, yes you did. Wow, I said that and I was looking at like, really? Did I just say that? It's because I had the word Bowser written down on my uh, little notepad thing and when Why I was saying that. Bowser written down on your notepad? Because I was trying to see if I could find any cool facts about Bowser in this game. Oh. But I think they didn't even really change his design from the last one at all. Because uh, obviously Mario's changed. And in the early development of the game, they were actually going to keep a very similar style to the original Paper Mario. Like they had uh, thinner lines, a uh, plumper body, and lighter colors. Do you remember how I get the ticket to uh, Glitzville? I th yes, I think. You have to talk to uh, Don Pianta, I thought. Let me go find this man then. I um, want to say you get. I think you have to go back to the item shop and talk to Peekaboo. Or Pika, who is a. And brute. you have to buy like a certain. Um, um, or buy items in a certain order. Right, I think. I don't remember. Um. You'd be amazing hmm. and check real quick as I'm selling some stuff. <laughs> uh, I really don't need to replenish 50 HP at this point, so. Alright, so all you have to do is you're in that thing, you have to buy a dried shroom. Then a dizzy dial, apparently. Okay, I thought that's what uh, the order was. And I guess if you, when she asks what the color of your mustache is, you must say yellow. Okay, what's your favorite color? Oh god, I have to look at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> It just, it stopped after mustache color. I'm, I'm assuming I just pick red because I'm Mario. Come on. Oh god, it's like at the bottom of this thing too, isn't it? God dang. It is at the literal bottom. This is so dumb. <laughs> Ah, once again, you must answer yellow. Yeah, I picked red on a, um, on a whim. And, uh, it, it definitely wasn't that. Favorite color is yellow. Well, you check out. You know the password. But yeah, that's the girl that originally had, uh, bunny ears. Yeah, I know. Peekaboo could get it any day. It'd be better if she had peek boobs You don't know if she does or doesn't. I mean, maybe she does, but... Not like Flurry does. Hey, Donnie! What is with you? Yeah. Give me a ticket for the blimp, boy. I make crime babies weep. Oh, I bet you you do. See, now they they trying to fight. It's okay. I'm a I'm a beat the hell out of all three y'all. Y'all don't know <laughs> who I am. It's all right. I just kind of happened to have murdered a dragon not too long ago. Don't y'all know who I am? I'm Murphy. <laughs> I'm Murphy Mario the second. Hell yeah. Oh man. But um. I don't know if I should make this episode uh, normal length or longer, or I could record a couple episodes back to back. Um, based off of if I'm busy at work, all I got to do is uh, upload something, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Totally your call. Yeah. Um, what I need to do, I about elbowed my Mountain Dew can.
<laughs> that would have sucked. Yes, it sure would. <laughs> but, um... So, I'm running through the Rome Total War uh, campaign as another thing. And, uh... What else is there? Uh, what did this man want me to do again? Oh, I'm looking for his dog. Uh, excuse me. Um... I need to find uh, something else that I can uh, let's play after I uh, complete this. Well, luckily you're still pretty early on in the game, so you still got some time to figure that out. Yeah. Um, can't I? Yes, I can. I don't know why I did this, but... <laughs> I mean, you could totally uh, go through like some Game Boy games or something. Whether it be like Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance. Yeah, um, I'm I'm just not sure if I uh, want to do like uh, Legend of Zelda or what, you know? Yeah, I feel you. Um. I was having trouble deciding that when I was recording videos, what things I specifically wanted to do. Uh -huh. um, I think that's why I resorted to fan games, because it was something new that I had never touched before. Yeah. Versus games I had already played, and like, I knew how to get through them and stuff. Whereas with this stuff, I would have had to actively figure out how to beat them. Hmm. I don't even know where I am. That was a mistake. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's like they actually already attacked you instead. Sad day. All right, good. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. You know, it was really funny. Uh, when you were running away from everything in that last couple of episodes, Scott was with me at the time. He's like, man, I just can't wait for the day when he tries to run away and it won't let him. And like the very next time <laughs> he tried to run away, it failed. And you're like, oh. Y'all, y'all managed to, uh, um, God, what's it called? It jinx me. Jinxed you. Yeah. Jinxed you in the future. Without even, with the <laughs> episode being recorded already. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Like the game just knew, dog. Okay. I need to find out where. Francesca. Is his... Yes. Is she in Glitzville? No, God, no, no. He won't even give you the ticket until you find okay. her because he's yeah. trying to get her to stop from marrying uh, Frankie, one of his guys. Yeah, that's right. What's, what's actually really cool, um, one of the final facts I have. Uh, is actually the first one I wrote down is um, in the Italian version of this game uh, Francesca and Frankie's name are Romoletta and Giuliano which is a throwback to Romeo and Juliet because their love is also like the forbidden love thing yeah so I can't remember where they are ask around town dog ask the locals Ask him what is they that what know. I'm actually supposed to do? Maybe I don't know. It'll probably help if nothing else. You could also ask Professor Frankly. He might know something. I don't know. Well, he is the whole um, treasure star bit. Yeah, but he knows stuff, and you can look in his treasure or his uh, trash can for any tattles you might have missed. Tattles. So, yeah. So in his trash can, if you've missed an important tattle. Uh, the tattle entry page will be in there. Like, if you missed, like, Vivian, it'll be in there. But you won't, oh. it won't happen for uh, Marilyn and Belle Dame, But Oh, snap. The entrance to Twilight Town. You could totally beat the crap out of him. Yeah. He's only got, like, I think 10 health. I need to, uh... What's her face out so I can tattle? Goombella. I 
Yeah, if you're totally down to record some back-to-back -back episodes, I'm uh, cool with it. I got nowhere to be anytime soon. I uh, gotta love uh, you telling me he has 10 health when he really has 20. Oh, is it 20? Oh, whoops. Yeah. My bad. It's cool. You can, you can take 20. You, you took down Chrome. With the help of drugs. With the help of crystal meth stars. You right. <laughs> You know, I bet those things would hurt if you just, like, slashed somebody's neck with them. Probably. It's probably what they really were originally used for. They're, like, throwing stars for a ninja or some crazy shit. Alright. Soraya's sitting here trying to play with me. Dog, you know I sit here and record during this time. It's cool when my cats are trying to do the same thing. Nah. I still can't believe I helped name Soraya. I can't believe I helped name you. Totally. I did. With your not being born yes this yes yet? What are you talking about? I was born before you. I know that. How could you help name me when they made it as a last minute decision in the hospital? That's because I was your daddy. <laughs> At the age of what, five months? I don't know. All I know is I was putting in work. <laughs> yeah, at five months old. <laughs> Hell yeah, <it> was. Ah, <laughs> oh, that baby's cute. Let it fuck me. Mhm. Mm what? <laughs> oh man. And bye bye, Gus. Let's say, see, look at that. Oh, that's something I wanted to ask you. Um, Scott noticed something when we were watching your videos. Do you not like using coops? <laughs> like, he noticed that, like, you always switch away from him, and, like, when you say his name sometimes, you're like, uh, coops. Um, to be honest, I, I just, I don't care really for his moveset, I suppose. Yeah, you're not wrong. It's like the lamest one out of everyone's. I, I don't have anything against Coops. I just... I... If he had a better moveset, I would totally use him. But his only purpose is literally this right here. Right, right. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll just stick him in, in here to hang. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. That was another thing. I couldn't believe they had that in a Mario game. Hey, it's Rogue news. Port. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, but the rest of the town is just like petty thefts and like graffiti. But then you've just got a straight up noose in the middle of Town Square. I mean, hey, I'm sure there's still parts of France that still have nooses and guillotines up and stuff. I mean, yeah, but it's not, like, publicly broadcasted. <laughs> you don't know and that. And today we see the first hanging of a man in France in 37,000 years. Yeah, they just don't want to broadcast it. I bet you they <laughs> still do that shit. But I am going to go ahead and call it an episode. All right. Yes. So, people... Please tell this man in the comment section on all social media um, because you can find him on my follows list and everything like that that he needs to start uh, recording episodes again. All right. <laughs> and we can bring back head to head. And oh. we could possibly do a head to head of uh, this lovely game right here. Oh god, you would so win. I, I suck at progressing in this game. <laughs> oh man but anyways links to my social media are down into the description um you can join me and sean on all those uh social media pages so if uh you think sean's cool or whatever uh, you know come come hang out with him yeah anyways it is your boy thorinx and your other boy sean <laughs> Yeah, other boy Sean. <laughs> yes. That's me. <laughs> Signing out, deuces.